happy Saturday heading into a hot one today. Yes, you are going to be kicking off this last weekend of September to a toasty start with record heat being a possibility. Overall, we'll continue some warm temperatures next several days straight into the start of October as we will also see these lower rain chances make a comeback. We are already, though, tracking a new area to watch in the Caribbean, which we'll get to in your tropical update in just a bit. Out the door right now, most of us currently dry. We have some clouds streaming in from the south, along with just a couple of spotty showers. Right now, we've had most of the activity in inland Broward County. One little shower now crossing over Isla Mirada at the moment that's now beginning to lift north of their area. So you'll start to dry things out here momentarily. Out across the area, a blue sky with a partly cloudy sky out for Biscayne Bay, Miami. A couple of puffy cumulus clouds. And boy, are we feeling hot. Upper 90s for this heat index value is already Miami. Fort Lauderdale getting close to 100 degrees. So that feels like temperature in Key West. Hot and humid today. We still have a lot of moisture with the tail of Helene over the area, which is one of the reasons why we're going to be so humid, along with the south-southwesterly breeze. This will eventually be driving a few showers into our area a little bit later on. Higher chances look to be closer to Broward County today. So I think after about 3, 4 o'clock, that's when we'll start to see some thunderstorms develop in that area. Could see a few of them down through northern Miami-Dade County, and we'll continue with that chance for a few of these spotty showers and storms through about 7, 8 o'clock before those start to gradually wind down, leaving us drier as we head into tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow will be an even drier day with even lower rain chances. High temperatures today, lower 90s will be running above average today, Miami, by about 5 degrees. In fact, we're actually on track to tie a record today with that forecast high of 93 degrees. 92 Fort Lauderdale, your record stands at 98 degrees, so you won't be quite as close there with heat advisories in effect for Miami Day. In Broward County, this feels like temperatures of 105 to 110 degrees. So not a bad day to be out by the beach. The rip current risk is high, though, so those rip currents are going to be more frequent, more dangerous, not recommended to be in the water past knee level with that UV index very high, so make sure you're using the sunscreen. Out of the water, small craft you want to use caution for. Atlantic waters light chop across their bays. It's those winds that is allowing for that small craft to use caution with some gusts up to about 20 knots. No alerts down to the keys. Those winds up to about 15 knots today out of the south. We still have a coastal flood advisory for the keys. That means we still could have some salt water flooding of one to one and a half feet during high tide that'll persist through this evening, but we should start to see some improvements as we head into tomorrow. Out across the tropics, we are currently pretty active here. We've got two named storms on the map. Hurricane Isaac, not going to be a threat to land. We have her, uh, Tropical Storm Joyce also will be curving out to sea. An additional area with a 60% chance of development. Likelihood is this one will also be curving north and taking a similar path to Joyce, staying out at sea. The area that we're going to be watching most closely is this area highlighted in orange. 40% chance that we could see an additional system develop in the Caribbean and lift northward into the Gulf of Mexico as we head towards the end of this upcoming work week. It's something we'll be watching certainly very closely. Not be worried about it right now in South Florida, but we will continue to keep tabs on it. If it does become a tropical system, that next name is Kirk. And by the way, we have now had four hurricane landfalls in the United States, and all of them have been across the Gulf. So, so far across the Gulf Coast, 